guys and welcome to the South Florida Fishing Channel. And before I play this fishing video, I want to give you guys a little sneak peek on what you can expect on this channel the next 12 months. As you can tell behind me, I have moved into my new place and I don't even have a bed yet. I actually got a king size bed coming in the mail this afternoon. But let me show you guys right outside where my boat's at. There she is. I could not be happier right now. The next 12 months, I am going to work so hard to put out some of the best fishing videos and hunting videos that YouTube has ever seen. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the South Florida Fishing Channel. And if you want to be even more involved in the fishing channel, check out SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. For, for $5, you can become a sponsor. You get entered into my giveaways where I give out fishing trips and I give out cool gear like go fish underwater fishing cameras and toadfish outfitters rods and all sorts of stuff. Also, if you just watch my videos and you just push that like button, you push the subscribe button and you leave a comment, I love it. You guys are all so awesome and I cannot wait to put some real work into bringing some epic episodes. I also have my paddle boards right under the deck so I'm gonna also do a bunch of paddle boarding around these areas and try to find some big snook and do some tarpon fishing and all sorts of stuff right off the paddle board. Anyways let's get to fishing. In this fishing episode my parents came down. It's been actually exactly one year since they were last down here. Also Dan and Elizabeth are joining me from the Florida fishing couple. And we're going to run offshore just southeast of Penny Camp, anchor up in about 50 feet of water, catch some ballyhoo, and then we go and drift the bottom in about 110 feet for some mutton snapper. Let's go. What comes out? Down, down, down she goes. I don't want to brag or anything, but I put the ball right where it was supposed to be. See the new scuffers I put in too? Oh, oh, oh yeah. These one way things? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Beauties. Yeah. Alright, let's hit the road, Jack. We're strapped up. Getting that gas. Got me a brick of chum. Good to go.
That's this is why we had to come to the Caribbean Club. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Free bait at the Caribbean Club. At least till we get past the bridge. Yeah. Uh, Got some free bait. That's going in the live well. Oh yeah. That's a groovy. We on the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy, the guy at Pentacamp was very apologetic, but it was yeah. Kind of... Oh yeah, the at the entrance. Yeah. He was he was saying that uh, there wasn't enough trail or parking because there was. Plenty. <laughs> it's like that just in time. They made it on the boat. Oh, that's the one thing yeah, Dan, you're not driving. It's your day to drink. I know. Oh, you have to this side. This the guy right here, right? I go. My boat fired up right away. I was like, because if it didn't fire up, I would have drifted out into no man's land. What do you say, Heiko and Captain Dan? <laughs> that might be a way to do it. What up, though? That's so funny. At least it floated. Yeah. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. One sandal in the boat. All right. One, one save for the day. Big boy, brick and chum as always. This is like my two go-to chum brick. The biggest brick around. That's that good stuff. I'm afraid to ask you this, but I want to make sure. You brought the valley hoop? <laughs> Dude, they're hungry too. I mean, they just, they're just plowing out through that fruit. I have been dying to try this bad boy. If it goes horribly wrong. Who kills one of us? Turn around, <laughs> We're coming off the range. <laughs> Turn around on the range. What? <laughs> yeah, this thing is sweet. Yeah, like, we're out of here. That thing went way deeper underwater than I thought it was going to go. Oh, you jumped. We're gonna take the pinfish, and I actually heard it's good to hook them right behind the anal fin. Like that. Yeah, and that should send them right to the bottom where the mutton snapper are. Valley hoo!
there's a mutton snapper down there too, but he's not very big. <clears throat> Just a bunch of big old porgies. Get back to fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that though. I haven't spear fished in way too long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it jumped off. It's, a fine one. it's kind of uh, slimy a little bit. Oh. Uh oh. All right, settle down, boys. Settle down. I sure have gotten so much better at catching that. Circle. I'm just gonna close it and let it That's tighten it. up. Just on come it. tight. It's running like a mutton, baby. <laughs> Popped off. Oh man. Oh man. It's gone. Don't worry, I got my rig going. Get it down. Get it down. Oh, look at this. Definitely a shark. Yeah. Did you say definitely a shark? Yeah. Did he cut you off? He though? frayed me all up. Yep, the whole thing. His whole body, so the whole side of his oh. body just just kind of. I need a whole new. I need a whole new rig, yeah. Did he cut your your rig like way up top? Yeah, what he did is he frayed every bit of it. So what happened was is this line was running along his back. Oh yeah. See here, look at this. So it's all the whole thing is frayed. Yeah, that's no bueno. Dude, no bueno. There goes my What's that? Oh. My yeah. Yeah. We're marking a big fish at 80 feet down. I just got cut off.
Wow, look at the bottom. Look at the freaking bottom. bottom Lit mark, mark that. Mark that. I, I got it. I marked it. Look at that here all of a sudden. Oh, big bird. Big bird. Ah. That's starting to come around there. It's starting to change. You got to be working this rod here. Whoa. Okay. Is there something on it? Well, hmm. yeah, there's something on it, but it's... Oh, look. There you go. There. You're in now. All right. Reel it in. Reel it. Reel, reel. Yep, slow and steady, slow and steady. Not yeah. <laughs> yep, just keep on reeling. Don't stop. Is this it done? Come on, please be a big one. Oh man, I can do it. Oh look at the bird, it's laying on the water. Okay. Okay, we really almost... Yeah, stop, stop, stop really. Oh, you need that first, huh? Okay, keep reeling. Now he's over here, let's fight him. That was Greg's status right there. Oh yeah, real, real, real. Oh, I see color. It looks, it could be a mutton, dude. I think it might be a mutton. Go, Landy, go. Here we come. It looks like a mutton to me. Yes. That is a mutton. Reel him in, reel him in. Yeah. Yeah, oh. Landon. Wow. <laughs> Kai pulled so hard. Fish <laughs> on. Oh, wow, this is a good looking one. Good one. Yeah, if nice you can one. open yeah, oh, yeah, this too. bale here and then unhook it. Landy, fish of the day. Fish of the day for Andy. Wow. That's right. Oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's How got How do you hook. hold that? Yeah, yeah. get that crap out of Well, there's a treble hook in there, so I would watch oh, yeah, out. Oh, out. it's actually right next to my finger. Sure, you. Oh, yeah, great. Right. These fins are pretty spiky, too. <laughs> Very Look at that. Good. Very that's a beauty. Good. That is a beauty. Good yeah, job. Look at that. Key West pink on there. Maybe like yes. 20, what, 20 something, maybe? Yeah. Like 23. That, I marked the spot. That Good. place, that thing was lit up. Nice. Let's it was like 20, it. 20 feet off the yeah. bottom. Man, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Shall I get the. Oh yeah, if you can pop that weight off. <laughs> that was You're weird. Bigger fish than you think. What is on there? Holy cow. Yeah, pull, all of a sudden it pulled like crazy. Let's go the boat. It's got fist. That looks like another one. No, it's a king. King. All right. Where's... Oh, holy Ooh, cow. Oh, smoking the reel. Now he's mad. Where's that gap at? Uh, uh, wasn't uh, it in the, up, in the up, stock pot? You want them? You're going to keep them? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, the pole pulls like crazy. You know what that is? That's a serum. What is this serum? Nice gap, right in the eyeball. Oh my god. Oh, you man. Didn't even know we had them hooked. These are great uh, sashimi. Those are good sashimi. Yeah. Good sashimi right here. See, and this is why we use wire. Yeah, that would be Because this would have been a lost fish if it wasn't yep. wire. Yeah, that it's already dead. That blood running out of them. Yep. Oh. Well, he's he's already moved on to the next. <laughs> he's on the next chapter of his life. Okay. I can't take the responsibility. I don't want the responsibility. <laughs> that way, oh if my we lose God, it, we can all yell like at crazy Andy. Again. Right. Andy's fault. It's a heavy one! <laughs> Fish on! That is the magic rod. Let's hope it's a big mushroom. Wow, with my white shirt, this is the first time I ever wore it. I just got it in the mail. Still something on it. Keep rolling, keep rolling. <laughs> okay, here comes the weight. The weight is almost there. Come on, weight. Oh, this is not smooth. 
Okay. Real, real, real. Hmm. Let's see what it is. It's fighting hard, so it's probably. All right, Nico. Are you ready with fighting. the big net? It's like a little front. Yeah, we well, know. That looks like oh, a monster. Looks, like, looks like, like. It looks like another monster. Mon yes. Oh, uh, little, little baby small. A small uh, one. For that. Is there a minimum oh, size? Oh, Dan's on. Oh. Dan's off again. Dan's on. Dan's off. Yeah, can you open the bail? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's no good. No good? I'm not even going to mention him. Oh, are they too small? All right, we got the mutton snapper here. It's kind of getting dark, so I'm just gonna try to do this as humanly fast as possible. I don't really have anywhere good to fillet the fish, so that's why it's happening on the boat.
cut right over the rib cage here. Now, if you've seen some of my older videos, you can use the rib cage meat and you can put the head into a, like a soup and you could make a nice fish broth out of it. But I will be freezing this and using it for chum and crab bait or whatever. Basically, we're just going to do exactly the same thing to the back side. Now, normally, I like to leave the meat on one side before I start flaying the other side, but it's been a long day. Quick skinning, easy peasy. Just wanna keep your knife leveled with the cutting board. There you go, perfect piece of skin. Put that in the chum bucket and nice piece of mutton snapper. That's what we came here for. That mackerel looks good. We're gonna sashimi him up, but I'll, I'll do a very simple cut on him. There we go. That's a piece of mackerel ready for sashimi. That's what he looks like without his, uh... oh, you can see his ribs bleeding a little bit. We did bleed the mackerel. There we go. One mackerel down for the count. Toss that in next time we go fishing, get the fish around the boat. Boom, bada bang. Two nice pieces of zero mackerel ready for the soy sauce. Let's go. Got some butter melting and oil. And we got our pile of mutton snapper. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Could be a little hotter actually. I'm not good at cooking on these stove tops. Is it on there? Uh, it could get a little hotter here. I don't want it too hot. 400, almost max. Yeah, we want to close it. <laughs> the fish is done. It's time to wake up. Mutton snapper on a Kaiser roll and lettuce and some organic salsa. <laughs> Gonna put the salsa on top. That's gonna be dopey dope. Maybe one more scoop for good luck. Holy cow. All right, there we go. There you have it. 
Mud and Snapper on a Kaiser roll with that salsa. Let's go.